Hello and welcome to another CMG Tech Byte video. My name is Kosoil Hinai, and today I will show you how to create a complex fracture in a well using our hydraulic fracturing wizard in Builder. In this example, we have a tight condensate gas model with one horizontal well where four fracture stages were done. During the fracking process, a micro seismic data was recorded. This micro seismic data can be imported into Builder by going to Tools at the top, then clicking on the option Micro Seismic Data Manager, and from here, clicking on Import. Then browse for the micro seismic extension file which has an extension of CMG MSEIS and open it. Click on next and the information related to that micro seismic file should be imported including the stage number, the date, the X coordinate, Y coordinate, Z coordinate the confidence, magnitude, and moment properties. Click on next and finish. Here we have a display of properties for the micro seismic event. We can, as seen in the 3D model, see the micro seismic data for each stage, where stage one is in red, two is in blue, green for three, and magneta, magenta for four. We can remove the micro seismic data for any stage, for example, well, for stage one, and clicking apply, which has removed for stage one. We can also change the bubble size by making it bigger, as seen in the model. We can also play with property filters for our confidence, magnitude, and moment. In this case, we'll be using magnitude and setting a limit of six. Now the size of the bubbles is related to the magnitude property value. As we can see, some events show a very small magnitude value. And those small values can be filtered. So by setting 6 and clicking Apply, we can see that we have a more filtered uh, event of micro seismic data. Once imported, this micro seismic data can be used to create a complex fracture system. To do so, go to Wells and Recurrent section and click on Hydraulic Fracture. From here, go to the well and click on the date. And click on the option New Complex Fracture Stage. From here, click on Use Micro Seismic Data for that well. And choose the specific stage for that well. In this case, we'll be using well one, stage one, for complex stage one. We can also filter out the different properties. In this case, we'll filter up to a magnitude of six. We can also select the perforations for fracture source. We can also attach disconnected blocks to a fracture. And from that, we can see the number of blocks related to that stage. By clicking apply, it can be calculated and the stimulated reservoir volume will be shown at the bottom. Then go to complex fracture, which is under complex stage one and insert your fracture width. 
and also your intrinsic permeability, which will then calculate your effective permeability. Click on apply. We can also create three more other stages in correlation with our microseismic data file. Here we have a model where the other three stages have been set in. The steps are the same as the first stage where we select our stage and filter out the properties that we would like. And from there, we can also set our fracture width and intrinsic permeability. From that, we can click apply and OK. Now we can see the complex fractures in a 3D format. To see it in a 2D view or an aerial view, we can go to properties, grid, show grid, apply all. And from the top here, click on the aerial view. And we can see the fractures in each layer of that well. With that, thank you for listening and I hope to see you in another Tech Byte video.